Hey guys, what's up? So, um, I'm gonna do a Blu-ray update for the month of July. Um, the fun- I really don't have this- have that much for the month of July. Um, I only have like seven, and I think I bought more in the second week in August than my entire month of July. But, um, I don't know, it's just weird like that sometimes. It, it was good to have kind of like a smaller month of purchases because July, no not July, June I went insane. Um, I really did go pretty crazy in June. May was was okay, but but this was a good little month to kind of not go all out. And the first purchase that uh, I'm going to show you, and it, it, it's, it's quite surprising because I, I thought I'd never buy this. I'm not a fan of the series, although I've only seen two parts. I haven't seen the last one, but um, you know, I, I was on Blu-ray.com and I saw a deal for it at Ross. And maybe you know what it is by now, but if you don't, I I got the Lord of the Rings, um, the trilogy. This is the God. The lighting is so bad right now. Jesus, let me see. Let's see. Maybe that'll brighten up. I don't know. But um. So yeah, I, I got the first Lord of the Rings, the, the, the trilogy. Um, this is the, um, the not the extended version that came out. This is just the regular version, and, and I don't really care to have the extended versions because all these are three hours long, and I, I don't need to watch a movie that's over three hours long, specifically the third one, which is three hours and 20 minutes, but I don't need all that. Um, I saw the first two. I thought they were okay, but, um, but for 30 bucks... For, for three critically acclaimed movies and you get like a whole second case for like the the digital copies even though they all expired but it doesn't really matter because I don't care um, you know I decided to buy it why not um, I haven't watched it yet obviously I don't know when I'll get to it because like I'm never in the mood to watch like these movies so like I, I don't I don't know if I'll ever get to them but for 30 bucks, you can't really go wrong, I mean, and I wasn't, no way in hell was I buying the new version, so, okay, now, the second movie, um, this movie, I, I didn't think it was gonna be that great, um, I remember seeing the trailer, I remember hearing Kanye's power in it, which made me kind of want to see it, but, um, I, I don't know, I just, I didn't have the urge to want to see this movie, it came out, I thought, you know, let me check it out, and it, it's, it's amazing, and it's limitless, Oh, this movie was so good. It was so much better than I thought it was going to be. I mean, I mean, the story's pretty cool how this guy takes, like, this certain um, pill that makes him, like, like he can see in the future, makes him, like, smarter and faster, and, and it enhances his ability, which is, so, which, which is I guess, cool in itself, but, but the movie was so good. Um, it, it was one of those, like, kind of... I, I don't know, it was kind of, like... It, it kind of reminded me of Fight Club in a way, kind of, like... Not in the story or anything, but just how kind of like gritty and and um, and the fighting with and the action was really good in this, and the story was really good, and the ending was really good. I really like the ending in this movie a lot. Um, you know, the Bradley Cooper man, he he's a star man. He was great in this. I, I really dug it. Um, Robert De Niro was okay. He wasn't in it that that much, but I mean, it looked good and it was a great story and. It, it was just a really well done movie, and I really like this, and I really recommend people check this one out. It was it was quite the surprise for me. Uh, okay, the next movie. The next movie is Insidious. Th this movie was definitely the, the, the creepiest, scary movie I've seen in, in a really long time. Um, it, it was really good. It was it it was an original. It's original concept, not a remake, um, not a reimagining or anything like that. It was just a really good original story. Um, it, it it really is pretty freaky, especially when you watch this at night, which I did. And I, to me, the scariest movies are the ones where like there's just a guy standing in the corner, or, like a monster standing in the corner, or like you know when there's like a creepy kid, and it's just all of that is in this. And, and the picture quality was good. The music was probably my favorite part of this. It's just really good music. Um, and overall, just a, a really good, scary movie. I, I definitely recommend checking this one out. It looks good on Blu-ray, and um, uh, I watched the some of the features, and it was pretty good. Um, 
great, great original scary movie. Definitely check that one out. Okay, now this movie. I had no intentions of getting this movie. And I figured to myself, since I didn't really buy much this month, I was like, let me check it out. I kind of wanted to see it, and I'm a sucker for video game movies. And it's Tekken on Blu-ray. Um, and it has a really cool, nice slip case. Um, th this movie, like all video games movies, and specifically fighting game movies, are kind of all the same. Um, you know, they incorporate some of the characters, not all of them. Um, they pretty much, you know, followed the story for the most part. Um, you know, like some of the characters look, most of the characters look like themselves. Um, basically, you know, fighting tournament, um, Jin, who's trying to avenge his mother's death and whatnot. It, it was cool. The pitch quality was, was good. It wasn't amazing. Um, the acting was, it was okay. It wasn't great. Um, but it, overall, it, it's, it's, I would rent this, honestly. I, I would rent, unless you're like a diehard video game movie fan, then, then I would buy it. But for the most part, I, I, I would say just, just rent it. I mean, definitely don't pay the price I paid for this, and I'm not going to tell you the price because I'm kind of embarrassed. But anyway, um, th this next one was, was, was good. It wasn't, it wasn't amazing. And it's Arthur. To, to me, and I've never seen the original, but to me, this this was kind of like a kind of like a romantic comedy disguised as a regular comedy. But by all means, this is this is a chick flick. Um, the pitch quality was really good. I love the fact that it was shot in New York, and Russell Brand. It, to me, Russell Brand is better suited for Judd Apatow movies. I feel like when he's toned down, he's just not as exciting or nothing special. But um, Helen Mirren is great in this. I mean, Helen Mirren is she's always great in everything, so she, you know, she was good in this. And um, you know, some of the spots and locations were pretty cool. But for the most part, th th this this is a kind of like a rent in my opinion. It, it, I mean, it was okay. It was pretty good. Um, I, I wouldn't go out and pay like full price for this, but it it, it was it was I it was I. These next two were by far my favorites of the year and by far of the month, and these will these two will probably make my top ten list of the year. And the first one is I, I was really excited to get this, and it's Take Me Home Tonight. I loved this movie. This movie really did have an 80s feel to it, and it's basically like a movie shot in the 80s where, um, you know, it's these two twins, and um, the guy's obsessed with this one girl, and he's trying to get her number and her phone number, and, and, and I guess go on a date with her the entire movie. It's just him trying to score with her. So it's, it, it's a really fun, entertaining movie. It was hilarious in points. It had a real 80s vibe to it, for sure. I mean, it's shot in the 80s, but, you know, they went all out with the costumes and with the music, great music. Um, and even the end of the movie, it, it, it really felt like a, an 80s movie where, like, sometimes in the, when you watch a movie from the 80s, the movie, it's like when the end scene happens, it just ends. Credits. It kind of it kind of was like that. But um, I, I loved the movie. I loved the people in it. Um, my favorite person in this movie... Um, I mean, I loved everybody in this movie, but I really like Teresa Palmer, which is her. She she's also in um, uh, Sorcerer's Apprentice and I'm Number Four. She's done nothing but great movies, in my opinion. I've liked everything she's been in, and this is uh, no exception. I love this movie. Great picture quality. It's just an overall fun, exciting movie. I shouldn't say exciting because it's just a comedy, but it's it's really good, awesome, well done movie. And finally, my last my last movie of the month. This movie was absolutely amazing. I pretty much like was thinking about it, this ending and the movie all night after I watched it. It was that good. And it's source code. Love this movie. Um, you guys probably saw the poster that I showed you like I think a couple months ago. I'm I'm glad I have it up now because this movie is that good. Um, I got mine at Best Buy. I didn't get the Best Buy exclusive, the one with the um, the, the, the cover that moves, the, what do you call that, um, it kind of had like a 3D-ish kind of lenticular cover where it moved, I, I, I wish I would have bought it knowing how amazing and how much I love this movie, but, um, it still came with the slipcase anyway, 
amazing movie, amazing. It's it's kind of like a um, it's like a sci-fi, a real sci-fi action movie. Um, I'm not even gonna try and explain it to you. You probably know what it's about. It's so good. It is the picture quality was amazing. It was a fun movie. I love the people in it. Um, you know, it, it has I would it has a great audio commentary that I listened to some of it. Um, oh, I love this movie. This movie was just. It's a must-buy. It's exciting from from start to end, and um, it's one of those movies where like you you think you can predict the ending, but you probably won't, because I was sure that movie was gonna end this way and it didn't. And then when I thought the movie was over, it kept going. So that that was really great. It's one of those movies where I wished it was longer than an hour and a half. That I wish this was like a two and a half hour movie. All the movies I love are never long. That sucks. But yeah, so th there you have it, guys. That's. The movies for the month of July, um, by far, I'm just going to list two, but my favorite two movies of the month are Source Code and Take Me Home Tonight. Love these two. Pick these two up. Amazing. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, I will see you tomorrow.